welcome back to the rich life got my doggies with me i know how much y'all love them i made breakfast burritos breakfast tacos whatever you want to call them i thought i had two tortillas out but i had three we'll give it a try i don't know if i can eat three usually one's my limit i was gonna try two for y'all but i'll try three i don't know so These are homemade. Well, I'm trying these, um, or I don't know. They're potatoes. I think they're kind of like hash browns, but they're chopped up. And they have um, onion and bell peppers in them. And um, I added some more bell pepper and onions to it. And some egg. I didn't put any cheese this time. And um, salsa. And bacon. I had my six pieces of bacon the other night I made um bacon hamburgers bacon cheeseburgers you know but I don't like cheese that much I chopped that up I stuck it in there hmm. I didn't eat much last night I don't know what channel I'm put it on. I had cotton patch and Pizza Hut. Let me tell you what. They didn't agree with me. My tummy didn't want to make one that, that combination. Mm, I was so sick. They're like they're all huddled up, huddled up on a piece of football. I'd rather just have tater tots in it. I'm just gonna have potatoes. Well, I buy these potatoes every few years. Thinking, oh, they're gonna get better. They don't get better. They're terrible. Mm. I just grab my Dr. Pepper. You tell me there's no SIM card in there or something. I don't know what the hell it means. Y'all know what that means? Same as day about it. Last few days it keeps coming up. Well, since it updated, I'm going to start denying updating. Because every time the phone updates, something happens to it every time. And, um, anyone else that did that? So it's just going to update, and it updates, and 
You have problems with your phone. It's supposed to be solving problems. It makes it worse. I love these tortillas from Walmart. If you have these at Walmart, get some. They are fantastic. You see them with the other um, tortillas, but you can tell they're like homemade. I keep hearing this noise. Bumping must be from the space station. My kids are gone right now. They went into town. Um, I'm gonna have to get them to check to see if that is. Maybe the gate's loose out there, unlocked. Well, I think maybe if I put a little bit of cheese in there, I might have helped those potatoes. One thing about those potatoes, um, it soaks up your oil. And you have to keep putting oil in. Oil, oil, oil. <clears throat> and, um, I'm probably going to have to pull that off. Um, the potatoes. They never get crispy. I'll show them on the bag crispy. They never get crispy. Mm. It's delicious. I'm getting full. Those little beef potatoes. They're or artists. It's like a hash brown or something. I don't know what they're called. <clears throat> I try to be nice every few years when I don't like something. Try it again. Hey, it's like, hey they've improved it. I've been trying these things for like 20 years. They didn't improve. And I always order them when I'm hungry. Groceries or whatever. Some people probably say, hey, why don't you go into Walmart and get your groceries? I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> I save a whole lot of money shopping online because I can go and delete things. And I like to order my groceries. <clears throat> I sit in my cart for two or three days and Walmart's complaining to me, you need to check out. You got stuff waiting in your basket to check out. And it's like, a lot of times I'll have a bunch of junk food in there. That, and during the middle of the night, I wanted. So if I wait a couple of days, I can go through there and I can just delete all that stuff off there. Yeah. Plus, I'm not in the store constantly um, putting a bunch of junk in my cart spending three or four hundred dollars on a bunch of stuff that I don't need. So like my friends, the Mills family, 
they do really good doing Walmart when doing their shopping hauls. I used to do that, honey. I, I never get many three or four views. No, no one liked my shopping hauls to Walmart. My sh grocery shopping and um, some people like the um, <coughs> that's what their YouTube channels known for and stuff. But um, I tried doing that several times and hauls and doing my grocery shopping and bringing it home and doing it and. No one cares about what I buy. So. I like my Amazon home hauls. I always think, oh, I, I, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. Don't work. No one likes my Amazon hauls. Um. Y'all do, I don't know. My two top views, videos that y'all love. Well, I'm gonna say three. It is my Lane Bryant that I need to do. I've been saying it for months. And then I ordered something, I had to wait. And I got so much clothes in there. I could probably make four videos out of them. Well, I'll probably one, maybe a 15 minute video. It don't take long to show clothes. <laughs> And then me stuffing Halloween bags with candy and little goodies and treats for the children. And um, wrapping Christmas presents. Those three, I get the highest views. Yes. And then, so, I still will do every year the stuff in the candy and the bags for the little children. Even if I just go all eating on this channel, I'm going to still have that because that's what my highest view videos is when I do that. I guess it's like it's one of those um I'm quiet. I'm doing stuff. I may say a word every once in a while and say something. But I'm mostly quiet. I'm doing my what I'm supposed to be doing. Just put candy in the bags and whatever little treats about the children and some of those big adults that come up here and want a bag mm. I do my bag the best you see right here this is my new blanket I got a woman la la love it you're too happy I'm I think, throw, I think it's throw blanket. <clears throat> I only paid um, five or six dollars for that blanket. It is, but you, you see who's using it? Yeah, it's supposed to be for me. And um, you'll see it, it's a blue color with different kind of doggies on it. I'm gonna tell you, that blanket is so soft. It's such a good quality blinker.
think it's almost like three o'clock. <clears throat> I could not sleep all last night. And I was watching videos on YouTube. <clears throat> I know I said it's getting better the day in my video. I am getting better. This is just um like allergies or something. <clears throat> I think I need a stronger allergy pill. And so I was talking about last night. Then I got in the morning. I was still tossing and turning, could not sleep. Thank goodness I have a Tempur-Pedic bed because I don't disturb those little babies right there when I'm tossing and turning. Does anybody else have a Tempur-Pedic bed? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have anything else. I just. I just love it. They are kind of expensive. You can shop around at different places and get them on sale. But, um, I wouldn't have another, any other bill. Um, I think, may I don't know if it was that. They used to have a commercial years ago where they'd put a, um, a glass of wine on the bed. And somebody would go jump up and down. And the wine wouldn't, wouldn't fall over. I was like, uh, damn, I don't know. I can sit there and talk and turn up and down. I don't bother them. I used to have other mattresses. They were up and down, up and down with me. Now, it, it didn't bother him. <clears throat> and it's the only bed I can have for my back. It's really good if you have disc problems and stuff, and bulging, herniated disc and all that, Just back pain, hip pain, neck pain, it really helps. That's one thing you have to do is invest in a good mattress. Don't buy something cheap because I'm more likely that's why we have back pain. <clears throat> and pillows too. You should have a good pillow. Um, <clears throat> when I was seeing the neurosurgeons Neurologists and all them. Not once did they ever ask, oh, what kind of mattress do you have? When was the last time you replaced your mattress? <clears throat> what kind of pillows do we have? When did you buy some new pillows? What kind are they? Um, how much did you pay for them? Because you need to spend some money if you want good pillows. A lot of people go get those little cheap pillows at Walmart. Those pillows ain't worth anything. I used to get those when my dogs to sleep on. That's about all they're good for. I have so many pillows. Every kind of pillow you could think of. Because when you have excruciating neck pain, back pain, knock on wood, thank goodness, I hadn't had that pain since I got my new disc in my neck. <clears throat> I'm very cautious what I do. Well, I think I hurt my back when I was a teenager. When I was young, I did, um, I loved doing gymnastics. My mother put me in gymnastics. And, um, I just loved doing back bends and stuff. I must have been about 16, 17 years old. I was at my grandma's house. I said, oh, I'm going to do me a back bend. I think that's when the problem That's when it started. Man, I thought I broke my back. 
Don't be doing that when you're getting older. Because um, your, your back don't bend like that no more. I'm very surprised I ate that. That's because I was sitting here talking to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. A few groceries to be ordered or be delivered. I don't know about an hour or something. We're doing lasagna. I don't know if I'm doing that. Not. We'll see. I ain't think about food right now because I'm stuffed. Mm. Well, we had a nice little conversation. I keep always looking for my little clicker those little donkeys. <sighs> oh, Josephine's usually been staying out at night. She loves to come in for a couple hours in the afternoon and then she goes out about five o'clock, stays out about an hour, comes back in and eats her supper. And she comes back in here for about three hours. She takes a nap. And then about nine or 10, she says, oh, it's time to go outside. So she stays out the rest of the night. She loves it out there. And I got a message, text message a few nights ago from my neighbors. Jim, can you please put your dogs up at night? They're keep barking and barking and barking. I was like, okay. <clears throat> so I've been trying to keep her outside mostly during the daytime so she'll sleep at night. It's getting cooler here now in Texas, so she loves it out there. Um, it gets me is my neighbors is um several years back, my mother's bedroom. There's probably four feet, four feet from their, well, it's my fence and their house. <clears throat> well, it was probably about four or five years ago. They left for two or three weeks. They left their dogs outside. No one came to feed them. The vegan and so I, I had to just throw dog food. I had to throw, I, I just cooked up meat, hot dogs, hamburger patties, whatever, chicken. I would throw it over the fence to them. Those dogs would bark and bark. My mother did not sleep for three weeks. She'd have to take naps or whatever during the day. She could not sleep during night any. Well, she's an night owl anyway, but those dogs kept on barking and barking and barking and no one came to check on those dogs. I thought they were there, but they were gone for three weeks. I think one of the dogs died because she was asking me about one of the toys that came over here. And I was like, over my fence, it's like, no. Cause she said, um, somebody was supposed to come over and feed them. I actually didn't throw it in my yard. It's like, well, it, I didn't, I never found it. I don't know. <clears throat> but I think one of the dogs died because she wanted to bury the the toy with the dog. And um, I was like, well, next time, take your dogs with you. Um, take them to a kennel somewhere to watch them. Because whoever was watching your dogs didn't do a good job and they just barked and barked and barked and... I guess we should have called the 
animal control or whoever to come do some of those dogs, but uh, all right, well, let me let y'all go. I'm rambling on, and um, so I hope y'all like my breakfast tacos, burritos, whatever they're going to call them, and um, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, click that bell notification. Make sure it's all black, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.